Okay. We're going to talk social distancing. Take this shit seriously. Stay the fuck home. If you don't need to be out and about, don't be out and about right now. Because we really can make a difference in slowing the spread of this disease. Um, because, I mean, we really have to listen to the scientists. Don't listen to our fucking government. Um, it is trash. Listen to the scientists. We are like 10 or 11 days behind Italy. And what's going on in Italy ain't pretty. People are dying from this. And more people are dying simply because the healthcare system cannot keep up, cannot accommodate everyone who's sick from it. So they're having to choose people like, okay, this person uh, has family members that depend on them. This person lives alone. Okay, we're going to... This person with the family members, we're going to take care of them. The person who lives alone, tough luck, you dying. Um, I mean, it's crass, but that's what's going on. And the same thing will definitely happen here because, I mean, our healthcare system is shit right now, okay? Most people cannot afford healthcare. So, you know, the chances are, I mean, it's probably, I mean, I could see it being way worse here than it is in Italy. Anyways. The social distancing thing can really make a difference in curbing the numbers. Um, I know it's hard. We want to get out of the house. We want to go to the stores. Um, we want to continue with our social lives and dating and whatnot. But just stay home, okay? There's no need to be going to the stores and stockpiling like it's the fucking apocalypse. You know, we're actually making things worse for all of ourselves in the long run by doing that. Here's the thing. When you go to stores, you go to Costco to get, you know, whatever's left of the toilet paper and the Lysol, think of how crowded it is. I mean, have you gone to a Costco recently? It is insane. You're exposing yourself to like a high number of people who could have fucking germs and bacteria, whatever the fuck causes the coronavirus. You know, so it's already a risk for yourself, but think about the workers at these stores. You know, think of how crowded it is when you go. The workers, you know, are seeing like multiples of the numbers of people that you're seeing for the entirety of their shift. They're being exposed uh, at a much higher rate and they are at much higher risk. And, you know, you think about the people who work at grocery stores and Costco and you know everywhere that people are going to stock up on toilet paper and stuff like some of these people they're these people depend on these jobs to support their families um sometimes it's like older folks retired folks who can't afford to retire because again our country is trash um you know they are most vulnerable and by them being exposed to so many people bombarding their stores to you know, clean out the shelves and stuff, like, that is unnecessary. See, what should be happening, what you guys need to be doing, stay the fuck inside your house. Use what you have at home. When you are running low on something, then you go to the store, get only what you need, and get out. Go home and stay the fuck home, okay? That way, there will be less people at the stores. There's, I mean, there'll probably be less workers, you know. Either way, you know, working class people are going to suffer, okay? Because we're getting, our hours are getting cut, our shifts are getting cut. Um, you know, it's, it, the economic impacts are going to hit us hardest, you know, than they will other people. But at least we lessen the risk of being exposed to the disease, okay? Because the disease, I mean, there's a mortality rate, okay? Um, you know, with the working stuff, like, what really needs to happen is our government needs to come through and provide some, like, economic stimulus, some, you know, relief uh, packages, you know, especially for, like, working class folks, for gig workers, um, you know, we need uh we need economic assistance right now. A lot of people are going to need economic assistance. Um but that's something we could if we get our heads out of our fucking asses and, you know, elect responsible, considerate, you know, politicians, that's something we can do. That's something that's doable. Okay? The spreading, you know, 
spreading the coronavirus, that's also something that we can help curb. Again, we have to we have to be able to see in the long run. We have to be able to see the bigger picture, but we can make a big difference. Okay. The reality is a lot of, um, a lot of gig workers, a lot, there's a lot of people who can't afford to completely stop working because they have to support their families. Um, they have bills to pay. I am one of those people. Okay. Um, you know, my, I bartend, but my bartending job is canceled through the end of April. And that's, you know, that sucks because the tip money, and you know mama does good in tips, uh, that really helps me out. And so I'm going to be hurting because of that. Um, you know, I don't have the luxury of being able to work from home. You mean you can't bartend from home? I work for WAG. I can't do WAG from home. Okay, I can't dog walk from home. Um, I still have to go out and do dog walks. The thing is, because everyone's home, when I go to walk a dog, I mean, it's usually because people are at home working or they're at home with their kids. So I'm exposing myself <clears throat> to people who, I mean, I don't know where they've been. I don't know if they were at Costco earlier that morning, you know, fighting over the Lysol and shit. You know, I, so again, if you social distance yourself, you just lessen the risk for, you know, everyone you come into contact with. Okay. Um, it's the considerate thing to do. Okay. Um, I, I don't want to be an alarmist or anything like that, but like, I just, you know, we shouldn't be panicking, but we real we need, we need to think and we need to use our fucking heads. Um, and God damn, I mean, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. All that shit you already know. I mean, I mean, at this point, like, I don't even fuck with hand sanitizer. I'm just carrying this bottle around everywhere I go and disinfecting everything with it because I ain't playing with this. I ain't trying to get sick. I mean, can, there's so many people who are uninsured in this country, and this could really wipe us out. <laughs> That's so gruesome. But seriously, also, like, wake the fuck up. We need Medicare for all.